What's up, everybody? This is a Brett Tadlock, TN artist. Just wanted to give you this quick painting overview uh, that I've got here. It is a painting I did on my iPad in Procreate. Still trying to figure out how to get the best screen capture from that so that it fits better here. So I'm looking into that. But anyway, this is kind of an over-the-shoulder painting that I wanted to show you. And essentially what I do is I start with a neutral tinted background and then from there I kind of build on top of it. So I'm painting in the clouds here and really just kind of um, smudging them in and using all the standard brushes that are in Procreate. So there are no custom brushes used here at all. And so I start with the background, then on a new layer, and I'm going to build up uh, the background foliage and start with some uh, darker trees. And, and I knew I wanted to make some reflections here and some water and kind of figure out how to do it. I wasn't sure if I was just gonna do one big one or then kind of bring the shoreline around. So I decided to go ahead and bring the shoreline around. So that's what I'm doing here is bringing it around so that I can get the reflections there um, as well. And so really what you wanna make sure and do is that as you're putting in the colors on top, they need to reflect in the bottom, but not quite as intense, and then just kind of uh, smear them in a vertical motion. So the techniques I use here are very much the exact same I use when I'm painting traditionally in oil and acrylic, and um, just kind of following through with that. So really working on an underpainting and getting the base laid in first, and then from there going back in and adding in different textures and highlights and so forth, but really just kind of building up the texture because all of this texture that you see like for example here the vertical grasses that I'm putting in those are just to trick the eye to thinking that there's more there than what's really there that was me playing around with trying to figure out the composition because usually I'll, I'll kind of sketch these in at first but I didn't do that with this one this was just kind of free formed um, and then I realized ah, I might keep the tree I might not eventually I did but just not that size and then I wanted to have the um, grass put in here. Now the key to doing grass is to not have it all be one color, not have it all be the same uh, across the entire thing, but in instead have peaks and valleys of negative space of darkness and lightness so that it gives some interest. So you can see how I'm doing that here and kind of going back and forth and building up some of the grass with it and that's kind of what gives it that more natural feeling and i'm just keeping some vertical strokes slanting them slightly like maybe a light breeze is blowing across and hitting some of them uh, but keeping it real uh, muted as far as the colors go so that way we've got a nice building of the layers as as it's uh, coming up so and you can see again the same in the the contrast and the reflections down there the reflections can throw some people off but really the reflection is just the exact same background color a little bit lighter of the sky color that you put in and then just kind of smear vertically to do it. Um, I use very few um, tricks, if you will, uh, for trying to get uh, things to look right. But one of them is what I'm doing right here with the speckles, because normally if I was using this on a canvas, I would probably take a toothbrush or an old paintbrush and, and flick the paint on here. Can't really do that too much on here, but there is a brush in Procreate that, that is a scatter brush allows you to do that and then you can warp that on a new put it on a layer by itself do the dots and then warp that layer to fit and lay across the canvas like you would traditionally so it's not that big of a, of a trick or anything but it allows you to get more of that kind of same feel so that's what i'm doing there and then i take that same brush and i put in speckles here and there of some of that yellow and the highlights because that starts indicating flowers and wildflowers off in the distance and stuff so again it starts that building of layers so i'm trying to leave open spaces and of light and then spaces of darkness so you kind of get a feeling that the ground is uneven it's kind of rolling across just like you see in some of these areas of swamps and ponds and you know lakes and stuff like that to me this looks like something you'd go duck hunting in or something like that with it but again the same with building up that so once you've got the layers of the water like i was saying before you just kind of lay it in there and you can take some light horizontal uh strokes of a lighter color that's about the same color as those clouds just a, a really kind of the mid-tones in the clouds that I use there and sketched it across so that way you can get that really nice ripple effect so I kind of got this where I wanted it as you can see uh, while I'm putting in the more flowers here that bottom left is left kind of blank because I did realize yeah I am going to put a tree there because it's kind of an eye stopper so you want to think about how your composition is. So if, this, if you look at this composition, the composition for this is basically kind of an S. It starts in the clouds and then curls down to the right and then comes back in with the water 
and to keep the eyes from going off of the canvas, I need to put an eye stopper here. So that's that tree that you see here. It kind of stops your eyes. And then the grass in the foreground uh, brings you back into it because it's all pointing back up towards the center of the painting and drawing in some sticks and other things like that to kind of do the same thing. So I kind of get this where I want it to be and then sign it. Uh, and then I realized, you know, I'd like to have some birds off in the distance. So that's kind of what I did there. I just drew them out real quick and threw it in. It's literally the same little birds you would draw in elementary school. Uh, it's just kind of thrown in there real quick. I didn't want to spend any time on them. And then a few more highlights along the shore and the bank and the water to give just a little bit more pop and then pretty much finished. So a real quick overview of how I did this. I hope it helps. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and come visit me over on Facebook and everything else as well. So appreciate it. Hope you have a fantastic day and you got something out of this. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or anything, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer it usually within about 24, 48 hours. If I don't right away, it means it probably went to the spam filter by accident. So I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.